Hi guys and welcome to Java Net Bean tutorial of how to create round buttons. These are the ones I created earlier and I have also included functions to change the bar color okay, of one or two buttons here. I think they are somewhere here, yeah, just these two buttons and this one is to reset. I think this one here will get it to be black so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you into java net bean tutorial uh java net bean itself and we'll put one of these together okay the first thing i'm going to show you guys is we will have to download the following file okay we'll start by going straight into my browser right here i'm going to have to download as follows so you can just type in here j tattoo there we go okay so we can that is the site press enter and right there okay and here that's the file that you need to download so once you download that very file that's the URL where to go I suppose you guys can see the URL or maybe let me just print it out so that you can see it I'm going to paste it here let's increase the font size so that you can see the URL that's the URL right there okay that's where you go to to download the J tattoo that is it right there okay let's close this and right here this is how the file looks like right there that's the file that i've just downloaded so i'm going to minimize that and close this close this as well okay let's go straight into java net bean and start a new tutorial all right make sure java java application is selected click on next and let's give that a name i'm just going to call it round button underscore buttons click on finish as you notice there we go now you should notice that right here that is it so the next thing I will do is right click and let's select new then we we'll select J frame and let's give that a name I'm just gonna call it round RBs okay and let's come to the package as well let's call it R buttons with an S click on finish there. okay the next thing I would like to do is to define the size of this frame let's come in here select that let's go to make sure you have the code selected right there and here and we we'll enter the following size so that's 1374 let's make that 76 and that that's supposed to be the width and here is the height the next thing I'm going to do is you see here where it says general I'm going to click on that and make it center okay that's my form so if I run it let's compile and run you will see that very form will fill up the whole screen yeah there we go right that might seem a little bit too much but I can always just come in right here and just maybe reduce that find here yeah. and this one maybe let's make that approximately maybe 700 why not yeah okay the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to add some buttons let's come to the property here click I will add one button first all right that's my button there but before adding the button i think okay the button is already there we can also do that just right click on the frame itself let's go to set 
layout and let's set it to absolute layout yeah that's fine and this button let's change the size of that button here come right down here 210 and here will be 130 okay then up here will be 210 right you see that okay let's delete the content in there where is it and right up here somewhere let's get rid of that so that will be the first that i'm going to play around with now i have one button there if i compile and run you will see the button still remain i say just kind of like rectangle look at that the button is still rectangle just the way it's meant to be but I want it to have I want I would like to convert it to round button so let's come to the source file I'm gonna have to import as follows you see so right underneath the package here right underneath here let's import the following I'm gonna import import java dot t dot color I need that for my I'm gonna need some colors in there then the next thing I like to import is let's import java java come here java dot swing dot let's go for you I manager there then I will also have to import UI manager dot look and fill information dot look and fill information there we go there now the next one is that's going to be Java swing dot on support there we go there right I've imported those four libraries that I need for my project now before I continue I like to come in here and write in here you see make sure it's open I would then like to import right into this very library my J tattoo right click on the library and let's select add jar okay click on that and right in here wherever you have a J tattoo does it right there just upload it click on open and there that is it right there okay now let's go back to our code now right on it where we have public static void main right here I want to enter the following lines of code so let's go for UI manager dot set look and fill okay now enter speech mark and I'm going to now say com dot j tattoo you don't miss that that's correct j tattoo dot p l a f dot almin sound like aluminium okay dot aluminium in capital letter might as well copy this 
Is that team there? Luke and Phil there. Okay, that's all there is to it. Although we have an error, so what we need to do is you see right here, click on that. I think we're gonna have to click that about three times. Okay, one. So now we've added that. So let's add the other one. Okay, can you see that? We've added that as well. Then let's add another one. Okay, I think there's gonna be a couple more. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that's all there is to it. That's just it's just this line of code that you need, and you make sure you've imported all of this. Import all of this and this very file, this Java file here. You must import that. Okay. Now that that is done, let's make sure there is no error. I can't see anything. Okay, I'm going to now compile. Let's see. All right, let's see. It seems not to. It seems there's no error, so we we'll now run it. There we go. That is my run button there. So the next thing is. I will now copy this very round button. Let's go back in here. Just copy it across anyway. Say control paste and just copy it across and maybe add a text box somewhere. Come right here. Text field. Minimize this and just copy them across as well. Yeah. Copy there let's copy it like that and populate it all right I'm just gonna speed that the whole speed of the whole process of populating the interface Alright guys, this is how the interface looks right now, so if I run it, that is how it all looks and there's nothing happening now, okay, so let's write one or two lines of code to change the back color, alright, so let's do that now, so let's come down here, close that, maybe even populate let's come let's copy this copy and populate down below here let's bring it down yeah right there okay now let's come up here double click on this very one here and let's change Okay, maybe right click and just select event action action perform. So right there. So let's say let's to change the color back color dot. That means this dot get that will const. Uh, I think is content content yes content plane dot bar set back set background color here there we go red is setting it red let me set it black let's say dot black dot black color so that means when I click on that very button it should change the back color to black and what about the text on it let's come here and just for the text color let's say J text field dot I think this text field one dot yeah set set text 
how much shall we put in there let's go for background background color is black okay just something like that and let's put that in quotes really right here as well there so if I run it compile first and run there if I click on this you see the background change right so I'll just write one or two more lines of codes and we we'll call it the end of the program so let's come back here I will have to speed that up though okay I've written one more one or two more lines of code so if I right click on this very one so let me show you what's in there so all I've just changed is change the background is still black and the buttons the following buttons change change them to gray I have a lot of buttons on board it's almost 60 something so if you want to do that you can always change it all all you just need to do is copy and just change the names around paste so that's four or maybe we can change this to three four five maybe six i think there's no three there maybe that's seven whatever and just come right in here we don't seem to have seven maybe we have eight yeah we do have button eight let's come right here dot change the color to whatever you want to change it to okay and this one as well okay that's to change the background to change the buttons color I agree that I can't go, go through it all because of time and that's all there is to it but the most important bit is underneath your public starting void main you're gonna have to enter this to get the buttons to become round there and you must import as follows these three and for the colors you're gonna have to import this as well if you intend to change the back color and right here inside your project you must import this add this to your library okay that's all there is to it add that to your library I suppose you remember the website so let's get the website on board again I'm just, I'll, I'll just paste it right there so that you guys can see the website that's the website okay so let's compile and run it one more time I will call it the end of this tutorial there we go guys so let's play around with that let's see you see that the color changes all right and you can repeat the same thing for all if you have the time to do that okay so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial of how to create a ram buttons so with that i think we should say bye for now and you all have a nice day now